to maintain the decorum of the students because after lunch you feel that you are no more hungry and when to acquire something you must have a quest first your quest was already over after taking your lunch anyway uh, my uh, discussion would be around the infl inf uh, inflationary growth dilemma issues for managers in fact as i said before i could come to this examination hall of being on the dais that a researcher should be either provide some solution or should be able to raise some question which uh, other student have already said a problem problem raising is a question raising in fact so <coughs> taking up this topic of inflationary growth dilemma issues for managers i am going to raise certain questions solutions are not here because had there been solution a number of lot of number of enumerates like uh, professor um, Man, dr manmohan singh the prime minister of the country the most literate person of india i would say one of the most literate person of india heading the government heading india uh, p chitambaram another economist uh, our president is also economist finance minister is economist and most of them i would say uh, montesing holiwalia the deputy chairman of uh, uh, planning commission is also economist amidst we have a number of uh, uh, very long prime ministers advisory council as one of student presented about the c rangarajan uh, and uh, many more kaushik basu and many more are the uh, advisors to the prime minister of the country so there are no solutions first of all this is my uh, the conclusion of my research and how i conclude that there is no solution for the problem that is going to be discussed is starting from those who have done the uh, famous ui curve <coughs> u stand for unemployment i stand for inflation when we talk of high inflation then we talk about the low unemployment that means when i ask this question to the young budding manager sitting over there because you must be doing bba bca mba whatever we are doing definitely you are looking for a job after one year two year when you are passing out this course would you like to get employment would you like to get employment because when you come for the admission you ask first question what is the placement so if you want employment that means you regress towards zero unemployment reduces that means if you move from right to left you go up along with the inflation are you prepared to bear to pay more my first question is that that we want employment my second question is this that are you prepared to forego the value of your currency nobody is answering this question because nobody is agreeing to this you are just again trying to clap with on one hand koi bhi taali baja ke dikhaye khas se if you cannot then you have to agree to what i say that if you want employment you have to pay high price for the commodity that you purchase that means you have to bear some inflation and on this research was done by philips abroad that there is no possibility of high level of employment with low prices if you want prices to go down on the y axis you have to remain unemployed which one of them you are going to choose high inflation earlier you did not agree now you have agreed that you want employment but you can bear 
with the loss of value of your currency. Is that clear? Just like somebody presented on the declining uh, value of rupee, so much you and cry. I call him, don't talk like Modi. Because that is going to benefit the country also. Why we are not able to boost our exports? Why we are not able to create the demand for our product? If we are selling at a cheaper rate, why we are not able to sell our product? Because we are not able to control our inflation. If the value of currency falls, we expect that our export will increase. Isn't? But along with that, if we have a double digit inflation, then how our export are going to increase? That means it's not a question of falling or rising the rupee currency, it's a question of the management within the economy. That the managers are very poor. They are not able to manage the economy. They are not able to control the prices. You are getting my point or not? Agar kam dollar de karke dada rupee mil lahi hai, lekin wahi jo paanch rupee chiz mil lahi thi, dash rupee mil lahi lage ghi, to what net effect the foreigners will have in purchasing from India? So India was doubly impacted. One was this, that the value of rupee was falling in the international market. On the one hand, on the other hand, we were not able to boost our exports and the exports, our current account deficit was high. And then we are trying, making a lot of human cry, why CAD is high, why CAD is high. Because we are not, I will show because there are some slides that will show that how the, except in one, one month, we had double digit inflation throughout. And you know, what is the inflation rate acceptable by RBI? Anybody know? In foreign country it is 1 to 3 percent and in India by RBI it is 5 to 6 percent. 5 to 6, uh, if it is 10, that will double of 5. If it is 10, it is double of 6. So that means the inflation was double than our bearing power. Agar ek aadmi 5 kilo saman utha sakta hai, us per 10 kilo rakh diya jaya, to uski halat kya hogi? So one hand, this we have the, so high inflation rate reduces unemployment. Philip said that if we have reduced unemployment, then we achieve growth, high growth. If we achieve high growth, then we have solved our problem. But problem remains at the same time. That inflation is high. Either we should happily accept that inflation doesn't do harm to us. We have to accept because this is simply going to create a capitalist economy. Why capitalist economy? Because we know the advantages and disadvantage of inflation in our test book. Advantages of inflation are reaped by the flexible income group. And industrialists, businessmen, they are the major party to it. Is that clear? Whereas the solid class group, wage earners, interest earners, fixed income group people, they are badly impacted by the inflation. So, this UI curve talk about the a kind of a development wherein we accept high level of inflation with low level of unemployment. Is that clear? But this is going to benefit only the richer class, industrialist class. Reasons high inflation leads to cattle made more attractive. Why the, this uh, this is there attractive to hold, leading to higher capital intensity and ultimately to higher growth rate. But another research was conducted by Stanley. What Stanley says that in the short run, this phenomena is true. But in the long run, the phenomena of Phillips is wrong. That I want to show you. What he says, what Stanley says, that there is an inverse relation between inflation and growth. Inverse relationship between inflation and growth. And if you go back to this thing, there is a, what we say, high inflation, high growth. Look at the first line. High inflation, high growth. So it is inverse or positive. It is a positive relation between high inflation, high growth. If you go to, uh, to uh, Stanley, what is this? Inverse relationship. Reasons are very, very clear. High inflation leads to 
lower rear balance which I talked about fall in the value of currency domestically which reduces the efficiency of factors of production. If the prices goes up, the efficiency of factors of production falls. Mazdur kaam nahi kata kya fayda hai? 100 rupai kamayenge, us pe 200 rupai hamara kharcha ho jayega. Sehat banane ke liye kaam karne ke liye. To isse se kaam hi na karo. 10 rupai khao, sattu chana khao, aaram se khush raho. Isliye bahut log mazduri nahi karte hain. So it leads to lower growth. Is it clear or not? This this is clear. Reasons Justification. Inflation reduces the ability of economic agents to operate efficiently in a private enterprise system. Both the rate of inflation and the change in the rate of inflation have significant negative effect on the output growth. Same thing which I have explained like this. Now we have a conflicting situation here which I have already discussed but we have a clinch to it also. The clinch is this that the, uh, the first theory it talks about the short run that in the short run there is a inverse correlation between the two what is that two means inflation and the unemployment rate in as per this relation when the unemployment is on the higher side inflation is on the lower side and the inverse is true as well same thing which i have discussed the relationship between unemployment and inflation is also known as the flips curve in the short term the flips curve happens to be a declining curve it is declining curve the flip curve in the long run is separate from the flip curve in the short run. It has been observed by the economists that in the long run the concept of unemployment and inflation are not related. That means the relationship between inflation and unemployment is only a matter of the short run. In the long run there is no relationship between the inflation rate and the unemployment rate. The flip curve is a the, the long term flip curve is a basically vertical as inflation is not meant to have any relation with the employment in the long run. Same thing. It is therefore assumed that unemployment would stay at a fixed point irrespective of the status of inflation. See this diagram. I have already explained this diagram. That means inflation is shown on the y axis, unemployment is shown on the x axis. This long term flip curve is a vertical line which does not have, and this is what we call say uh, uh, equilibrium level of unemployment. That this much of unemployment always prevails, irrespective of the level of inflation. So in, this is but this is true only in the long run. In the short run, there is inverse relationship. <coughs> this is the already discussed natural rate of unemployment, which is known as the equilibrium level of unemployment. You fix so here, and. Uh, uh, is this all right? This is known as long term flip curve. Inflation is caused by the alteration in supply of money. It has been said that when we increase the supply of money, inflation is caused. Monetarist approach. Okay. Money supply increases, price of very commodities also goes up. If the above truth theory fails, the following truth may prevail. This is important for you to read. It is possible for a nation to have a high un unemployment and high inflation also. Because whatever we have discussed, whether it is we are talking about the Phillips theory or we are talking about the stylish idea, the all them are only theoretical. Practically speaking, two things operate. One is a stagflation, other is a jobless growth. What is stagflation? We have inflation and no growth. What we talked about there, the in Phillips curve, there is an inverse relation, there is a positive relation between inflation and growth. High inflation, high growth. Positive relation. In case of Stanley theory, there is a negative. Understand? That means if we increase inflation, growth is going to fall. But actually what has happened, that an India had, that is a practical idea, that uh, stagflation, that means inflation persists, but growth has not taken place. We call situation of stagflation. But there is no relationship. No relationship. Stagflation means and inflation is there and no growth is there. Growth is neither falling nor increasing, remaining stagnant. So no relationship. This is one aspect. In many industries, like if you talk about the hotel and restaurant, if you talk about the IT industry, if you talk about the communication, if you talk about the banking and insurance services, there are certain sectors, I have a separate paper on that, I have just taken this idea, this line from there itself, that these are the sectors of Indian economy where we have, op we have seen that jobless growth is there. Growth is there, jobs are not there. Growth is there,
jobs are not there. So the situation of jobless growth and these two things, stagflation and uh, jobless growth does not uh, the, does not go in hand in hand with the either Stanley theory or with the uh, um, Phillips curve. Some unraveling facts about Indian inflationary situation. India has used uh, wholesale price index. You know that how many of you go and buy in uh, say uh, Ajapur Mandi? How many of you go and buy in Saibabad Mandi? How many of you go and buy or Congress Mandi? I don't know. Big big Mandi. Can we tell you? How many of you go? where wholesale uh, commodities are being sold. Why Indian government is talking about, when it talks about the rate of inflation, why it, talks, it is talking about WPI? How many of you go as a consumer? I think none. Because you will get 5 kilo aloo, 5 kilo everything, what will you do with it? You have to organize big feast. Haan. If you have a marriage or some ceremony, then you may like to go over there. Otherwise, as a consumer, you don't go. So, this is one thing. So, CPI, Consumer Price Index, which has always been in double digit. So, government never declare, never accept that inflation, say that inflation rate in India has declined and now this is, we are very happy. Who's what it is? It's not a question of UPR or NDA. हम आज कुछ बोलते हैं तो घर में खिलाते हैं यूपीए खिलाफ बोल रहे हैं नो राइट फ्रॉम डे वन सीपीआई हैज नेवर हैज नेवर बीन एक्सेप्टेड इट इज द डब्ल्यूपीआई एंड डब्ल्यूपीआई इज ऑलवेज हाफ ऑफ द सीपीआई इन बिटवीन द रोल ऑफ हेजर्स मिडलमैन ₹10 में चीज खरीद के लाते हैं ₹20 में बेचते हैं तो आपकी ₹10 हुआ ₹20 हुआ बताइए एंड व्हाट इज ₹20 इज सीपीआई इज नॉट डब्ल्यूपीआई now, I am talking about another important fact, unraveling facts, that when the government talks about the inflation, whichever government, NDR, UPA, whosoever it is, it always talks about that inflation in India is driven by the food sector, which is totally wrong, presented, this data is not created by Dr. Beg or anybody else, the data can be verified from the government of India. What is that? You see, the, if you take, move from down to up manufactured products inflation component of in component of inflation one is a primary articles second is a fuel and power and third is manufactured product which is more aap bataiye share is how much that is the total contribution in inflation by the manufactured product is 65%. If you get a number subject, you get 3 number, you get 20 number, you get 20 number, you get 14 number, you get 15 number, you get 3 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 The maximum contribution in inflation is by the manufactured products. Is this clear or not? Mangai is ki vajay se ho rahi hai? Is manufactured part of agriculture? No. Is this clear? So primary articles, they are being produced by the agriculture and allied activities. And allied. Understand? Allied mein poultry hai, animal husbandry hai, fisheries hai and many more. And cash crops. Understand? Ye cheez aati hai. Food article contribution is how much? 14.3%. So, can ever we say that inflation in India is a food driven inflation? No. 65% manufactured product is inflation because of the fuel and power? No. no. Whenever inflation is there, government will say, since the, the Saudi Arabian countries have raised the, the Okazan OPEC, have raised the price of the oil, so inflation has to take place. Tell me, where is that? The data is generated by government of India. This is not a primary based data I have created. Taken from the website only. Is this clear everybody? Now within the manufacturers I have further classified. Agriculture is not. Primary sector is not. It is only the manufactured goods. Now within this, sir I will take few minutes of time. If So within this, say 
जो विदिन द मैन्युफैक्चर गुड सेक्टर 65 परसेंट जो आया था उसके शेयर की बात कर रहे हैं केमिकल्स एंड केमिकल प्रोडक्ट्स 12 परसेंट बेसिक मेटल्स एलाइज मेटल्स 10 परसेंट मशीनरी एक्सेट्रा एट पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट टेक्सटाइल सेवन पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट ट्रांसफर्ड इक्विपमेंट फाइव दिस इज फर्दर डीकम्पोजिशन डीकम्पोजिशन ऑफ द इन्फ्लेशन कंट्रीब्यूटेड बाय द मैन्युफैक्चर गुड सेक्टर इज एन क्लियर The CPI is currently hovering around सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन एट परसेंट देख लीजिए सीपीआई आज की डेट में इस समय जो है सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन है और डब्ल्यू पी आई फाइव पॉइंट सेवन है अभी गैप कम हुआ है अभी गैप देखिए पीछे बहुत बड़ा हुआ था इज दिस क्लियर ना दिस इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ द प्राइस ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ ट्वेल्व मंथ इन दर टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन कॉन्स्टेंटली इट इज You can see more than टेन See, look at except that ट्वेल्थ month last जो December चौड़ी करके ये देखिए लगातार जो है इन्फ्लेशन रेट जो है दस के ऊपर है मिनिमम ये है उसको छोड़ दीजिए उसके बाद बात करेंगे देखिए दस यहां है ये लाइन ये यहां पर खत्म हो रही है सो इन्फ्लेशन हैज ऑलवेज बीन मोर देन टेन परसेंट एंड स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम इलेवन पॉइंट फाइव रीचिंग ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेल्व डबल डिजिट इन्फ्लेशन हाउ कैन यू ग्रो योर एक्सपोर्ट्स वेदर देर इज ए फॉल अगर हम डॉलर चालीस रुपए का भी कर दें तो भी लोग नहीं खरीदेंगे ओके द एसेंशियल कंडीशन वेन इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी सिक्स द वैल्यू वॉज डी वैल्यूड द रुपी वैल्यू वॉज डी वैल्यूड एक्स्ट्रा केयर वॉज टेकन दैट इन्फ्लेशन मस्ट बी अंडर कंट्रोल इज दट क्लियर एक्सेप्ट इन दर टू दिस इन द ट्वेल्थ मंथ ऑफ दिस इज दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन प्राइसेज वेर वेरी लो राउंड नाइन पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट समथिंग हेल्स होल्ड टेबल लास्ट में कोना देख लीजिए बारह जहां लिखा हुआ है दिस इज क्लियर फ्रॉम दिस टेबल सी राइट साइड में देखिए एम में कोना में देखिए लाल से लिखा हुआ है दिसंबर दो हजार तेरह नाइन पॉइंट थर्टीन अदरवाइज इन्फ्लेशन आई वैल्यू बी इन डबल डिजिट हाउ कैन यू ग्रो योर एक्सपोर्ट्स इवन इफ द वैल्यू करेंसी फॉल्स इवन इंडियन वैल्यू करेंसी राइजेस Growth scenario in India. The growth rate in India has always been more. Uh, I mean, no, sorry. At one point of it was more than nine percent. It was nine point two percent. It was next to only China. It had a major roadblock in the year two thousand twelve. The India's economic growth slipped a decade low of four point five percent in two thousand twelve thirteen. Sare four percent ho gaye. and we have been talking lot about the indian economic growth rate many people must have heard about it hindu rate of growth anybody know hindu growth rate nobody knows it has nothing to do with the hindu it was professor raj krishna who termed this word as because 82% of the population of india is hindu so it is hindu rate of growth which has been always hovering around 3.5% us 3.5% ko he he died Uh, in the late 80s, because he used to cry about this low growth rate, and he he, he could not see that India could achieve even 9.2 percent growth rate. Maybe his soul must have rest in peace. That India has come up 3.3.5 to 9.2 percent only. The country's GDP is estimated to be around 4.9 percent. The current phase of bottomless imports, roads, etc. Inflation, but that's why the food got a little bit of a hit. Consumer. बिगैन परचेजिंग मोर इंपोर्टेड गुड्स आप लोगों ने बात करी अभी ऑयल खरीदते हैं ज्यादा गोल्ड खरीदते हैं ज्यादा और ये गोल्ड खरीदने में लेडीज का जबरदस्त रोल है लैक ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट मोर ऑफ योर टाइम द इंडियन इकोनॉमी विल बाउंस टू हैव ए ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ सिक्स पॉइंट फोर परसेंट बाई टू थाउजेंड एज पर दी आई एम एफ फोरकास्ट फोर पॉइंट फोर थ्री है टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व में देखो लगातार बढ़ रही है बारह तेरह लेट पंद्रह थ्री पॉइंट टू से फोर पॉइंट फोर फोर पॉइंट फोर से सिक्स पॉइंट फोर बट वी हैव डिक्लाइन फ्रॉम नाइन पॉइंट टू परसेंट दो द ग्रोथ रेट कॉन्सेप्ट इज सच दैट वर्ल्ड वाइड देर हैज बीन डिसलरेशन देर हैज बीन डिसलरेशन ग्रोथ रेट वर्ल्ड वाइड बिकॉज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द अदर कंट्री इंडिया हैज बिकम थर्ड First is China, second is Indonesia, and third is India. But it is the forecast of the IMF that the situation will reverse. China will remain number one. India will become number two. 
and uh, Indonesia will be number third. Let's slip it, there is no special thing. Shall India attempt to contain inflation or should allow the price to go up as high as possible as per the UI curve? Kya India ka price bharta rena chahiye ya UI curve tere ghata na chahiye? Itna ta aapne jani liya hai ki despite the fact that there has been rise in the rise in the value of dollar and fall in the rupee of value, exports has not gone up, CAD has increased because imports value has increased and export value has fallen. So uh, and definitely we have to control inflation. रेपो रेट गवर्नमेंट ने बढ़ाया है सब आपको मालूम ही होगा सी आर आर फोर परसेंट पे फिक्स किया हुआ है एंड ऑल राइट रेपो रेट एट परसेंट कर दिया है डिबेट अबाउट इफेक्टिव इन्फ्लेशन रेट दिस ऑलरेडी डिस्क वन पॉइंट थ्री वन वन टू थ्री परसेंट इन डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज एंड सिक्स टू सेवन परसेंट इन दर बी आई अबाउट इंडिया वट आर द सोर्सेज ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन वन एग्रीगेट डिमांड इज मोर सप्लाई लीड्स टू फूड पर्टिकुलर फूड सेक्टर and supply side high cost of labor domestic factors supply of money faster than supply of goods sab theory mein malum hai aapko external price rise in price rise in price abroad impacts price in india oil ka rate bahar badhega to kuch to badhega na yahan par cad big high as is now expected to fall to 2.5% and we know that excess imports of gold oil etc you know coal also and uh, uh, there are three ways to control the CAD. One is FDI, FII, and ECB. आपने से एक एक ही बताया था FDI, दो भूल गए थे, ठीक है? ECB, जो मैंने आपको बताया, capital account में आता है ECB, external commercial borrowing, and FII. Fiscal deficit is now down to 4.8 percent. Uh, some inflation is imported because some some inflation because of domestic problems of inflation that we import from abroad. Again, repetition. Uh, growth is a necessary condition. Growth is a necessary condition because if you do not have growth, we cannot talk about the inclusive growth because we are talking about regularly that let there be inclusive growth. So, growth first we have to achieve, only then inclusive growth will be there. Because India is a country of a plurality and diversity where we have the poorer class, somebody talked about the neglected class, underprivileged class, and underprivileged class. Etc. Etc. So India is a country of diversity. So we have to take along all the people, and only then we can develop, right? And uh, <coughs> anything you want to ask? Any question, please, sir? Invite Karan. <laughs> Do you have a mic? Okay, thank you. Anything else? Any question, please? You should ask the question. What is the Modi mantra for improving the environment and reducing inflation? So what is that mantra which is 